Good morning and welcome to Cali. Who would have thought that last week we would be doing this? Um, so I'm just going to do what we normally do, which is grab a coffee and um, go from there. So lots of changes this week. Um, so the government have issued um, advice on uh, COVID-19 to say that if you've got a cough or a fever, feeling unwell, then you need to self-isolate for seven days. So Rob's got a cough, so he's self-isolating. And uh, because of staffing, we've decided to just go live stream for this week and we'll see how things unfold. Anyway, I haven't got to shush you this week because uh, there's no feedback from getting your coffee. Right, so coffee in hand. So get yourselves comfortable and let's see what God wants to do with us as a community just from where we are. A song that's really, um, I've been going through in my head a lot is Waymaker. So I'm going to play that and just, just engage with God wherever you might be. So let's pray first. So Father, we thank you that you are everywhere, right where we are, wherever that might be, that you are there. And we welcome you, we welcome you Holy Spirit to come and to move amongst us. We want to meet with you. Thank you, God. Amen.
His name is above loneliness. Oh, his name is above disease. His name is above cancer. His name is above every other name. So, um, lots of change um, over the last two weeks. Who'd have thought that we would be looking for toilet rolls, alco gel, and lots and lots of change? Um, you wouldn't believe it. Um, one of, someone was telling me um, the other day that they were in a shop and they saw two mums at the uh, checkout. One mum had four boxes of nappies and the other mum went to her and said, can I buy one of those boxes of nappies? And she said no. Things have really, really changed. Um, someone else sent me a picture of their local um, Costco with uh, hardly anything on, on the shelves as well. So massive, massive changes. Things in the newspaper, things on, online, so much change. Um, and sometimes you wonder what to do about it. And um, J. John, um, Canon J. John, is a really well-known guy and he's wrote an article and some of the stuff I've been reading has been really, really helpful. So I thought I'd just pull some bits and pieces about what's going through my mind um, at the moment and maybe share from there. So um, it says, is, um, fear is out there and fear affects the way that we think and how we react. Um, he also said that uh, fear distorts who we are and what we are supposed to be. But the Bible says in 1 John 4, um, 18, Perfect love drives out fear. 
So the opposite is true. Perfect fear can drive out love. Interesting points from Jay John. Um, he goes on and talks about morality. And so I looked at what morality means in the dictionary. Morality is a particular system of values and principles. The extent to which an action is right or wrong. At times like these we realise what our real uh, morality or what our real values are. Which ones are superficial and which ones are really uh, ingrained grain deep into us. Fear can corrode our values, especially when they're not that deep. J. John goes on to say, It is deep morality that allows men and women in times such as these to show courage, service, sacrifice, um, and that's what's needed. Deep thoughts. Deep thoughts. Um, Psalm 24, verses 3 to 4 says, Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one with clean hands and a pure heart. We're seeing so much about clean hands at the moment, but actually um, that is really important. But actually our hearts and um, having a pure heart and having a heart that's after God is really key at the time like this too. Really interesting that hours before Jesus actually was arrested and went to die, he said to his disciples these important words in John 14, 27. He said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and don't be afraid. Jesus said this just before he died. And these words are true for us today. Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and don't be afraid. It's really um, a challenging time, and but these words are true for us today as much as they were then. And God gives us his peace and he says, don't be afraid, he's with you. So thinking about all that's going on and thinking about what Callie is called to, we're always talking about we're called to be whatever God wants us to be, wherever that might be. We are his hands and we are his feet. And uh, we know we're not perfect, but in our, um, in, our, in our whatever we are, if we give that to God, it makes a massive difference. And um, a verse that's been really, really um, key to me over many years, and you've heard me say it, is Romans 12. But reading this in the context of today is different. So have a listen to Romans chapter 12. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you. Take your every day, ordinary day, your sleeping, eating, going to work and walking around life and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. That's quite key for us today, isn't it? Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God and you'll be changed from the inside out. Changed, that's our heart, that's that deepness that we want changed. We want that in line with God. And God's asking us at this time to give today, whatever today might be, to him. Today, whether you're going to work, whether you're juggling things, whether you're having to self-isolate, whether you're ill, or whether life seems pretty normal, God is asking us in this season to give him our every day as an offering, right here, right now. We may get concerned, even fearful, but God promises to give us his strength, his peace. Perfect love casts out fear. You know, we have a hope that others don't have. How do they get through all of this without that hope that we have? God's put us in a family, in community. Wherever you are right now, you're still part of this family, the family of Cali. We're here for each other. We have a hope. We're never alone. 
Jesus is with us. Even if you're isolated, um, Jesus is with us. He's with us right now. So I've been thinking about all these things and um, here's a few things that I'm trying to do and um, maybe you might want to have a go at this time too. So we're told to wash our hands. So, and we have to wash our hands for 60 seconds. So Rob was telling me, he was saying that um, some people, instead of singing what they're saying is to sing happy birthday. So as you're washing your hands, sing happy birthday uh, twice through. And Rob was saying that he saw it on um, some media somewhere to actually, instead of sing happy birthday, why not, every time you wash your hands and do all the hand washing, how about um, say the Lord's Prayer? So I started to do that and <laughs> I'm washing my hands an awful lot with my job uh, and with general life too. So after doing that a bit, I thought, what else can I do? So every time I'm washing my hands between patients or coming into the house or whatever, I'm actually praying and I'm praying for you. I'm naming different people at different times as I'm washing my hands. Maybe as you wash your hands, you can think of something that you can do that brings some kind of rhythm into this time. Um, so th that's the first thing. Second thing I'm doing is I'm keeping up to date with, um, with the news and guidance. And um, I've decided to keep to um, World Health Organization, Public Health England, and um, the official news channels like the BBC. Um, I am trying ever so hard not to get onto social media um, with social media, I don't know about you, but I can go down a, a social media sinkhole, so I'm trying to stick to those. I've been in now for, gosh, three, how many days have I been now, Rob? Three days? Two days? I can't remember how many days I've been in now. <laughs> I've been for, in for a few days now, and what I'm going to do from today is actually um, stop um, looking at social media so often, um, stop looking at the news so often and actually do it at certain times, maybe the beginning and the end of the day, because you can actually get consumed by it. What else am I doing? Uh, third thing, I'm contacting people, so I'm texting people and I'm phoning people. I'm enjoying chatting to them and I'm hoping <laughs> that they're enjoying a phone call. So maybe, maybe you could do that too. Maybe you could phone people you know, people from the church, Maybe people, your neighbours, or, or if you're not in isolation, maybe you can pop round and check people are all right. That's a good way of being salt and light in this season. Um, I've been reading some books re recently, and it's talking about um, life being busy and, and, and being on this treadmill and being on this rat race and being busy. And it's saying if you can break the rhythm in some kind of way and make some changes, by breaking the rhythm, then you can make the changes. So maybe this season is a season where our normal rhythm has been broken. And maybe we can actually make some changes. Normally when I go on holiday, or um, I, I take space to reflect and think about what's important to me. So maybe at this season, we could, um, it's actually Lent as well, can you believe it? It's actually Lent. Um, Maybe this is an opportune moment to actually make some changes and maybe a time to reflect and pause. Another thing um, is I'm filling my mind with truth. So I'm making time to read um, and, to, and to pray and to read good, good articles and, and good books. And I want to do, I've just started that, so, but I'm going to do a bit more of that. Um, a really good um, thing I've found is an app for your phone by 24 7 i've sent it to some people um, but it's actually um, you can press on it and each day it gives you a little reading so it follows those acronyms of uh, pete greg p-a-r-y pray and um, you can either um, read it on your phone or download it or you can actually just press play and it plays it for you it's 10 minutes i would suggest well, I find it better by actually listening to it and actually having people speak it over me and actually then able to engage with God that way. I'm finding that that makes you feel like you're in community even when you're apart. So um, I think we might have a go at that in a bit. Um, might put that on for you to, to listen to. Um, so you can do that each day. It gives you a reading. 
Um, and last Tuesday, they broke it completely and did it completely differently. This is not a normal thing they do. And they actually did um, prayer for the uh, COVID-19 virus and prayer for the world. And this is a way that they work through praying for things. So I was going to put that on in a minute and maybe we could pray alongside this as a community, wherever we are. Um, so actually, let's, let's do that now. Okay, so here's the app. And it was on Tuesday they did the special prayer. Um, why don't you relax and let's pray along with this. It's Tuesday the 10th of March and today we are changing our usual format to intercede for the millions of people around the world affected by the coronavirus. As I enter prayer now, I pause to be still, to breathe slowly, to recenter my scattered senses upon the presence of God. Rejoice in God's protection today, joining with the ancient praise of all God's people in the words of Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble as the waters surge. The nations are in chaos and their kingdoms crumble. God's voice thunders and the earth melts. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. Yes. join together to pray verses from the Bible in response to the global coronavirus crisis. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you to protect us from the spread of the coronavirus. You are powerful and merciful. Let this be my prayer. Psalm 57 verse 1. Have mercy on me, my God. Have mercy on me. For in you I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. Amen. Jehovah Shalom, Lord of Peace. I remember those living in coronavirus hotspots and those currently in isolation. May they know your presence in their isolation, your peace in their turmoil and your patience in their waiting. Prince of Peace, you are powerful and merciful. Let this be their prayer. Psalm 79, verse 8 to 9. May your mercy come quickly to meet us, for we are in desperate need. Help us, God our Saviour, for the glory of your name. Amen. God of all comfort and counsel. I pray for those who are grieving, reeling from the sudden loss of loved ones. May they find your fellowship in their suffering, mm. your comfort in their loss, yes. and your hope in their despair. Yes, Lord. I name before you those known to me who are vulnerable and scared. Mm. The frail, the sick, the elderly. God of all comfort, you are powerful and merciful. May this be my prayer. Yes. 
2 Corinthians 1 verse 10 He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and He will deliver us again. On Him we have set our hope that He will continue to deliver us. Amen. Jehovah Rapha, God who heals. Mm. I pray for all medical professionals dealing daily with the intense pressures of this crisis. Yes, Lord. Grant them resilience in weariness, yes, Lord. discernment in diagnosis, yes. and compassion upon compassion as they care. Yes, Lord. I thank you for the army of researchers working yes. steadily and quietly towards a cure. Mm. Give them clarity, serendipity, and unexpected breakthroughs yes. today. Yes, Lord. Would you rise above this present darkness as the sun of righteousness yes. with healing in your wings? Yes. May this be my prayer. Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Amen. 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 God of all wisdom, I pray for our leaders, yes. the World Health Organization, yes. national governments, local leaders too, heads of schools, yes. hospitals and other institutions. Yes. Since you have positioned these people in public service for yes. this hour, I ask you to mm. grant them wisdom beyond their own wisdom yes. to contain this virus faith beyond their own faith to fight this fear yes. and strength beyond their own strength to sustain vital institutions mm. through this time of turmoil. God of all wisdom and counsel, you are powerful and merciful. May this be my prayer. Yes. Psalm 46 verse 1 to 2. God is our refuge and strength an ever-present help and trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Amen. Amen. I pray the blessing of Psalm 91. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, mm. nor the plague that destroys at midday. Mm. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Please. Psalm 4 verse 1. Answer me when I call to you, my yes. righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. Amen. May El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty, who loves us, protect us. May Jesus Christ, his Son, who died for us, save us. And may the Holy Spirit, who broods over the chaos and fills us with his presence, mm. intercede for us. Yes and in us for others mm. at this time. Yes, Lord. 2 Timothy 4 verse 18 The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. Mm. To him be glory forever mm. and ever. Yes. Amen. Father, Help me to live this day to the full, yes. being true to you mm -hmm. in every way. Yeah. Jesus, help me to give myself away to others, mm -hmm. being kind yeah. to everyone I meet. Spirit, help me to love the lost, mm -hmm. yes, proclaiming yeah. Christ in all I do and say. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Well done. Had to go up praying together. That's really good. It's really good.
Um, on Wednesday we did Alpha and we did um, Holy Spirit Alpha um, and oh, it was beautiful to see God's presence touch lives um, and if you were there you can remember the encounter you had with God. Um, just God touching people with his peace, with his warmth, um, yeah just a beautiful sense of God's presence and um, you know wherever we are right now God's presence can do the same and so I'd like us just to, to rest and um, we're going to play a song and I just want to invite the Holy Spirit just to encounter each one of us wherever we might be right now. So come Lord, come Lord, come Lord Jesus, come Lord Jesus. We welcome you right where we are, wherever that might be, come by your presence. We welcome you Lord Jesus. We welcome you, Lord Jesus. May you increase in each of our lives as we walk through every day. 
May your blessing and your favour be upon each person. In your name. Amen. So Lamentations 3, verse 22 and 23 says this. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. So each morning as we get up, each morning as we face each day, may the steadfast love of the Lord continually flood over you. Amen. Right, so, back to my puzzle. I've been doing a puzzle of uh, Stratford-upon-Avon. Uh, it's coming along. Sitting here doing a puzzle, looking at the garden. It's got to be good. So, who knows what uh, next week holds. Um, so why not um, give me a text on my mobile, phone the church line, um, check up on Facebook or on the website and see what's going on. But um, if you don't, um, if you don't, we don't know what's going to happen. So we'll either be live streaming from here or we'll be at Cali. Um, take care. All the very best. And um, oh, time for another coffee.